Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 7C notes on applications of gradient. At the end of this, you should be able to say, I can use my knowledge of the slope of a line to help me solve real world problems. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a video of a guy I like to call Captain Awesome. So here he is. Check out them shades. I need me some of those. So anyway, um, what he's doing is he's actually taking his car and driving through, just driving along a, a road starting it from stop and then cruising up all the way up to his top speed, which he's doing here. And then on this axis down here on the, on the X axis, this is time in seconds. And then on the Y axis, it's the distance in meters. Okay, so here's his trip here that he took and he's starting down here at zero All right so he's at so this means that you know no time at time zero he has not traveled at all so zero zero that makes sense after four seconds he's gone 50 meters at eight seconds he's gone about 120 and then over here at about 14 seconds is where he's gone 300 meters and then this is where he has stopped so what this is representing here Anytime the slope is is going up, it's curving upwards. It is a this means acceleration. So that this is actually constantly changing. The slope is constantly changing. So it's getting he's accelerating more and more and more. And then where it starts to flatten out right here is where he's kind of reached his max speed. And then where it starts to curve back down is where this is actually deceleration. And then where it's flat here. It stopped because if you think about it here at 14 seconds he's gone 300 meters and then also at 18 seconds he's still gone 300 meters because he's stopped he hasn't gone anymore okay so that's just kind of a nice little uh, display of slope okay so with that I'm actually gonna shut that down help my computer run faster so um, let's do this let's take a look at some Let's take a look at actually just one other example. So this graph here represents the weekly cost to feed melon-eating meerkats. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to find the gradient of each one of these lines here. Um, what to, and we're going to figure out what each of the gradients mean, and then we're going to um, figure out what does the y-intercept represent, and then if the function representing six or more meerkats were to continue, how much would it cost to feed 50 meerkats? And that's this line here, the, the six or more. So there's the six meerkats. So we're talking about this line here. So first thing, let's find the gradient of each line. So let's actually number these off so we know which line we're talking about. So let's call this one number one. This will be line number two. And this is line number three. All right, so with that, let's calculate this out. So. Here's question A. Line number one is, I'm going to just pick two points here. So we've got a point there and there. So we go up two over one. Up two over one. So our slope is two. Right? And that is actually, if we want to get really technical here, that is two dollars per meerkat. Meaning it goes up by two dollars for every meerkat on just this first line. So every meerkat you have to ask, spend two more dollars. So line number two is if you here's a point and then let's go with that one. It's the end point. That'll work nicely. So from there we go up three over five. So it's up three over five. And again that's we can't even reduce that. So that is up three fifths of a dollar per meerkat or something nicer than that is three-fifths of the dollar is 60 cents so maybe let's do 60 cents per meerkat okay so every meerkat you add from one all the way up to six you're gonna have to send spend 60 more cents per meerkat okay and then the third one so line number three, here's a point, and let's see, let's make this easy on ourselves. Here's another nice point right there. So the slope of that is up one over three. One over three. So that's a third of a dollar per meerkat. So let's do this. A third of a dollar, so let's do 33 cents per meerkat. 
Okay, so we've actually kind of taken care of B because it says what does what do each of the gradients mean? So again, the first gradient, this first line here, means that you're going to spend two dollars extra per meerkat, just basically going from no meerkats to one, and then sixty cents per meerkat when you adding anywhere between one and six to six total meerkats, I should say, and then the third line here means that you're spending 33 cents more per meerkat for every meerkat you get after six. Okay. Part C, what does the y-intercept represent? So here's our y-intercept. That means if you don't own any meerkats, you don't have to pay any money to feed them. That's basically what the y-intercept represents. Okay. And then the last one here, if the function representing six or more meerkats were to continue, how much would it cost to feed 50 meerkats? So as you can see, it only goes up to 15, 50 meerkats. It's going to be way over there. So we're going to actually have to figure out, somewhat figure out what the equation of this line is. So we know that the slope of this thing is what we just figured out over here, which is one third. So let's write that down. So we got the slope is one third. And then we can also use a point over here. So let's use this point here at 6, 5, right? Here's the x, 6 and up 5. So we have a point of 6, 5 and a slope of 1 third. So we can, let's just go through and calculate, figure out what this equation of this line is. So we got y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, right? So let's plug stuff in and away we go. So y minus the y1 here is 5 equals m, which is 1 third times x minus the x value over here, which is 6. All right? So let's see. Let's distribute this 1 third through to both of those. And that's going to give us y minus 5 equals 1 third x. And then a third of 6 is 2, so that would be minus 2. We'll add 5 to both sides. And we get y equals one third x plus three. Okay. Now they're asking us um, what, it, how much would it cost to feed fifty meerkats? All right. So that fifty is again, it even tells us right here on the graph that the me number of meerkats is the x value. Right. That's the um, that's what we're going to plug into our equation. So we'll plug that fifty in for our x. All right. So let's try that out. Let's do y, let's change the color here, so let's go y equals one third of 50 plus 3. Okay, so one third of 50, calculate that out. 50 divided by 3 gives us 16.67. And then we add 3 to that, and we get that y equals 19.67. Six seven. So, if you want to own fifty meerkats, it would cost you about twenty bucks to feed them every week. Um, I really hope you don't want to own fifty meerkats. That'd be a lot. Pretty sure that one meerkat would be too many. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's all there is for this here. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks so much. Bye.